Hello my friends, welcome back, it's episode 17, the motor pool is closed. We haven't actually taken any damage yet, so I guess it didn't matter. For now. Okay, let's get to work. Our spy plane is actually down here, but we only have one, because we don't really have the airspace for uh, any more than one. I think I flew over this area and I didn't see anything of note. If any of my other aircraft can actually, no. This map is enormous. And it's really, uh... The fact that the map is enormous is really affecting my ability to uh, scout it with aircraft. So... In terms of the scout plane... You know, this area is probably mostly occupied by these red dudes, so I'm gonna presume that area is clear. Uh, we scanned all of this with our strat bomber and we didn't see anything, so let's check this area. Okay, there's a bunker. There's a bunker but nothing else. So this area is clear. Ah, I can't run in an attack. I can't run in an attack because I don't have Force March available. Because I used it to get down here. Okay, that's fine. I'm still out of sight range. I'll get him next turn. I'll send a recon bike down this way as well. We know that there's nothing here because our strap bomber... Um, checked this whole area as well, but I'll just bring these units in from the side. They're sort of committed to that path now anyway. <clears throat> this airport still feels like it's too far away to actually be useful. So I really need to claim this one and I think what I should probably do, what is probably wise, is to not use any of these aircraft. They're barely in range anyway. Take this airbase now, and then bring the aircraft down. Okay, once again, the waffle could just delete these people. Let's see if I can move that experience to something more deserving. The problem is, is that you know the the actual main army just can't. It just can't advance at this speed. This is breakneck speed. Even the recon is getting left behind. Ironically, with six tracked movement, this thing is... shockingly quick. <laughs> with six half-tracked movement, he is easily faster than um, pretty much everything else. Stupid of me. I should have done it the other way around. Yeah, none of my infantry can even get close. Too far away. Pace is too quick. In fact, I'm not even sure if I can get into that tile. <clears throat> You'll get nothing. Good day, sir. Uh, 
which is the one that's got super movement? It's this one. Doesn't help. Nope, it's just this this pace is too fast. Cannot. I cannot uh the my main army just can't keep up. It's that simple. So I guess we're just gonna waffle this stuff. I don't know if any of my can any of my infantry actually get to that airport. Oof, barely not. Okay, the artillery can reach. Good thing that we know that the area is clear. Look at that. It's a position where I can waffle them both. I'm pretty sure that that's a very slow tank. Plus anyway, red does not. Red does not have the issue I have. Red is not dispossessed of the poor ground control. Okay, so with the airport taken, we can now push our aircraft up. Oh, this is the most irritating thing. If I'm using the rebasing tool, of course I want to rebase. I don't want to select something else, but anyway. We can move a spy plane down here as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm still keeping in mind the possibility that at some point I'll rebase my aircraft here to attack this lot if it's got nothing to do. We'll farm them for experience points. Okay, well, we might as well just push our infantry down. At least with transports, it can actually uh, it can push to the front line here. Okay, everything's protected by this anti-aircraft gun as well, which is helpful. It's poor KVs, man. They've never moved so fast. They've never shifted so fast. Basically moving their full allowance every turn on road tiles. But it's not enough to keep pace with the speed at which my, my front line is moving right now. Which is funny to think about. Let's send this here and just double check this area. Yeah, it's clear. Go, red team, go! Whoa, what happened there? Oh, get some! Ha, I did nothing. One damage. Hardly worth it. Of course, I have no way to repair the chip damage. Okay! Only 10 damage, really? Interesting. Where can you reach? If I put you on legit mode. Okay, cool. Twice. 
12. Even better. Wow, these guys are tough. <laughs> 15 strength, close combat, recon car. Still struggling to do any real damage here. This is a perfect time to strap. Sweet. Oh, a hidden French tank repair depot. That's nice of you. And there I was thinking about 50 prestige that I could easily obtain. And I obtained a bit more. Speaking of which, I never really looked at the units. The, do you know, the funny part is, when I played the normal campaign, of course, you'd spend ages looking at the unit screen because there'd be something new every time. But of course, uh, in the grand campaign, there's, you know, it's rare that there's anything new. Apart from prototypes. But my prototypes just turned out to be more waffles. More Wurframen. Three hundred and sixty-one T sixes, T twenty sixes. That could win the war. That. <laughs> I think that's more T twenty sixes than ever existed at this time. <clears throat> anyway, what was it that they gave me? Maybe it was just some more charby ones. It's just some 21 centimeter that I captured earlier. It must have been something I already had. It was probably some more Charby ones. They're not bad, but they're so they're they're so slow. They're mind meltingly slow. That I never. Uh, three speed is really bad. You know, it was it was painful. It was painful having three speed when when we were using T twenty sixes. But at least in the Spanish Civil War, the maps were smaller and the T twenty six had huge advantages that made dealing with that painful speed worth it. But, you know, three speed and no no ability to transport. Like, you know, a lot of infantry is slow, but it's got transport, so you can move it around strategically. Th you know, three, three movement speed just flat is awful. Just so painful to deal with. Right, let's scout the area. Okay, this area is clear, apart from some grounded aircraft. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of aircraft they are. I get the feeling that I should probably bomb them flat before they take off. Um... Oh, man. <clears throat> I think we can get some serious aircraft, aerial wreckaging done here. Sadly, I only have two fighters, so... Let's have Galen delete this fire. And we'll have our other fighter delete this fire. That leaves the Strat Bomber. I will ruin his ass with this, but I want to move it to this tile here where my infantry currently reside. Okay, time to set up shop on the front line. Now, this is the unit that strikes first when defending, so it's perfect for putting into this close tile here on the front line. 
we may have to wait a turn or two <clears throat> to bring our heavy weapons into the battle. Oh, <laughs> so much damage! That forces him to repair now. He, there is no way that he'll be attacking again after that. Okay. Artillery. Oh, it has a shot, just barely. I doubt the French have got any 21 centimeter guns, so I think I'm gonna just shoot at them like it's going out of style. Okay, I need to scout this. Oof, that's a lot of units. Yes, it looks like the French are well and truly dug in for a big fight here. Okay, that unit is reachable. But only by the Strat Bomber. I don't know if it'd be easier to take these guys out when they take off, actually. I'm pretty sure this is a bomber. <clears throat> pretty sure that's a bomber. Okay guys, so... Let's say we put you here. You can get up onto that close combat tile, that's good. I presume that none of these other units can reach. Let's use our forced march to actually push up as fast as we can. This is the fast engineers, but not fast enough to get there. Let's go here. I'm just positioning, I'm so, you know, I'm not like overly concerned about poor ground control, but I still don't want to have any holes by which nasties can just, nasties in panhards can just come and uh, put the hurt, in, hurt on me. Although this is all close combat tiles, and I have all close combat units, so... It's not... It's not wise for them to attempt it. Oh man, if only I could reach that panhard in that close tile. Ooh, bury his ass. Oh man, Team Red is getting wrecked here. They don't really seem to have much. And I got here super fast, so I mean... Although it looks like they just bought this unit. This looks like it's been freshly bought. No? No, it's got experience. I don't know what's going on here, but what I do know is that this tank is in a lot of trouble if I don't help. No retreat, no surrender, no supply, prudent. God damn, four heroes? No, it's him. He is your never give up, never surrender kind of guy. He also happens to be sitting in a... in an unsupported tile. I just buried those two French fighters, so I'm not sure they've got any air support left. Oh, I used the wrong one. I used the wrong one. I should have used the double strike one.
do I have uh... all right let's just say that he ain't getting he's not gonna get to this unit this unit is vulnerable here it's not really wise to put it in this tile But I need... I need to waffle him. Otherwise he's gonna just keep putting the hurt into red. Plus now the waffle is supporting this front line and most of this is infantry. I mean look at this, this is infantry galore here. Oh there is a fire! It's just been repaired. Oh, that's not good. He'll blatantly go after my strats next turn. Ah, oh, well, whatever, I'll get over it. Okay, these fighters are actually replaceable. This is prototype Strat Bomber is not replaceable, so I'm going to put him next to a fighter to protect him. I'll put him right next to Galland. Uh, that's not Galland, actually. This is Galland, but anyway, whatever. He's next to a fighter, he should be fine. Glorious KV is coming. Glorious KV is coming. I don't know how useful these spy planes are going to be up here, but whatever. Okay, let's see what happens. You might choose a different target. You might think that there's something more juicy out there. You might also stay to defend the bomber. No, nope, he went straight for my freaking tactical. I knew it. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have overlooked that. That was stupid of me. I think I do have a supply airport though, so I can repair it for once. Yes, I do. I do have a supply airport, so I can make repairs. It's not a problem. It's going to take a turn, but repairs can be made. Well, it's going to take, you know, one turn to repair it, and then one turn to send it back again, so it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a while coming. Let's see if we can bring these bridge engineers down here and we'll, we'll cross the river. Okay, anyway. I actually want to put this these anti-aircraft guns down in anti-tank mode now. I got work to do. You're right. And the horse you rode in on. 
Okay. That's probably the last of the French air. Except them. And they'll take off at some point, I'm sure, but let's, uh... Let's worry about that later. Okay, let's go into anti-tank mode for you. The most vicious anti-tank in the game. 28 hard attack. What's his defense? 18. Does the chart be one 18 defense? Or does that include his bonus? No, it's gotta be. It's gotta be 18 defense, isn't it? I mean, I actually have one. Yep. 18 defense. I can definitely penetrate him with this. Penetration! I think old KV here is going to struggle though. Or is he? This is my tank buster KV. He enjoys plus five. What if I put you in standard mode? 21. Nah, it's not that great. He's a pain in the ass because he's going to gain one defense. So that's seven. So that brings him up to uh, 25. So, if I bring him down to like one health, the only weapon I'm gonna have that's gonna realistically give him. Uh, that's gonna inflict casualties on him is the uh, the 8.8. .8. The 8.8 .8 is uh, almost the. almost certainly the correct choice for getting rid of him, though, to be fair. At least it wasn't my double strike dive bomber that. Uh, that got hammered. Okay. Remove the bunker. The bunker will be ready soon. Yeah, strap almost can't hurt that. Okay, you know, once again, the front line is not quite established for me just yet. We just, we're not quite there yet. Oh uh, yeah, the 8.8 .8 is a, is a vicious slayer of tanks. So let's, I'm going to get rid of this infantry first. I could just waffle his ass. Let's move this up here. Just hold, hold, hold the area. This guy is in my way. These, this. This unit could easily destroy that panhard, but the red team is actually in my face here. Okay, I guess we're just pushing up.
I could just I could just waffle him as well. Oh, I just I kind of wanted to get my infantry in there because you know there's experience to be had. Okay, I still can't get in there because uh, this idiot is zone controlling me. Um, oh, this is totally undefended. How pleasing. Actually, there's a freaking panhard there. <clears throat> okay, let's move the KV in artillery mode here. <clears throat> Put some suppression on Galland. anything because he's got he, he's not requiring supply so he does not suffer the negative effects of encirclement so I'm going to presume that, that means that he can repair even when surrounded and get his ammunition back I really need this tank here this is, there's too many units here that could fast respond to me coming in. That's actually quite a nasty anti-aircraft gun as well. I'll just do this for the experience. Um. So these units were ready to go across, but seeing all these tanks and the panhard here, it doesn't seem like this is the right place to go. I want to put my anti-tank gun right here. I really want to do that. But it makes me so vulnerable to this group of infantry here. This is ugly. For sure. Okay, alright. What we'll do is... We'll put the first strike guys here. And then we'll put this here, which is in a closed tile. These guys are not great in the open tile, but... I can at least for this turn. I can defend them with this artillery, that'll do. Then if something runs into the bridge tile, it's not gonna be an easy. It's not gonna be an easy maneuver, let's put it that way. If this Panhard comes charging in, he's gonna pay he's gonna pay for it big style. Okay, so the bridge engineers are not here yet. These are the fast engineers. I think I just want to pull back. I think I just want to pull back like that. Let's not, uh... Let's not take any risks. 
I just I have too many units that are not on or near the front line right now. Plus these red units here, I can't rely on them to actually stay in position. So as much as I would like to make a deep dive for that tile, I'm not going to. Yeah, this is definitely just a repositioning effort right now. Uh, no idea what to do with this spy plane. Wow, this this part of the map looks all clear. If I didn't know any better, I would say that you could dive this way and put the put an encirclement on this. Which is my favorite kind of thing to do. Did he do anything? It's like nothing happened. That anti-aircraft gun put one damage on this. Or did he put one damage on this? I don't know, but they've both taken one damage. It's not a big deal. Time to repair. Select a unit to upgrade to. Let's over strength to nothing. There we go. Sounds good to me. At least we have a actual supply hex airport so we can repair our airplanes even if it's a total fiasco to do it. I.e. you know I have to fly them back and repair them and then fly them to the front line again. You know, even with aircraft, it's like three turns wasted. Obviously with tanks and stuff, it's even more time wasted. But anyway, that is it for now. We're out of time. So we're now in a position, I think, to, uh, to make our assault. And he's still sat next to the hill tile, so I think I'm going to just feed him an 8.8 .8 round in the face, and that should, that should do... Do him in. Um, if I can organize some recons, if I can organize some recon bonuses, I should be able to um, get that three damage to four damage and just friggin' face plant him with the anti tank gun. If I'd have known that he was on this mission. Um, he wasn't in the, uh, he didn't exist when I did the trailer for this map. He was, he was just a thought at the time. He was not actually in the map. Um, had I have known, I probably would have brought something a little bit more heavy along to, um, not more heavy, but I might have overstrengthened the 8.8 .8 to smash him with. It's kind of, if he's in an open tile, it's kind of meant for you to kill him with an 8.8. .8. If he's in a close tile, you can probably pull him apart with infantry or uh, or tacticals. The thing is, see, what people don't know about prudent is, or what they don't understand about it, is that it also increases close defense. It increases ground defense, air defense, and close defense. And generally speaking. Air defense, you know, is not great for tanks, and close defense is non-existent, but plus eight close defense is is pretty serious close defense. <laughs> plus eight close defense makes them as tough as engineers in close tiles. So, you know, there is that to consider, basically. Um, but I should be able to, to channel some channel some bonuses, maybe Gallon's 10% accuracy bonus and a couple of recons. I think we can channel enough bonuses to, to put the 8.8 .8 on the hill and smack him into the next life. And then it's just removing the infantry from the city. 
once again my infantry are screaming to get to the front line. The two speed of the pioneer is really, really painful. You know, it's weird. I thought they used to have three speed. Were they nerfed? I just, I don't remember having so many problems with their movement. I thought it was only the heavy infantry that had two speed. Did they get a movement nerf? Well, by the time you guys see this, anyway, I'll know the answer to that question, so don't bother answering me in the comments. I'll already know. <laughs> Five minutes, five minutes from now, I'll know the answer to that. But I just, I don't remember them being so slow. But maybe I'm having a, having a migraine here, um, and I haven't used infantry properly for a long time because you can't use them at all in the Spanish Civil War, and uh, I didn't really heavily use them in 1939. It's only now that they're starting to be something that I need. Anyway, that really is it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.